Workout started. GPS on. Study 1 hour 45 minutes at zone 3. Go. Zone 2. Zone 3. Zone 2. Hi. So it's Wednesday and this is the Wednesday show and Zone as three. usual I'm going to be competing with a recycle truck. Workout average pace 12 minutes 5 seconds per kilometer. I have also noticed that sometimes my heart rate spikes like it did just there and it clears it. It's like the pressure builds up in my chest from my porridge. Hopefully that will sort itself out. Yeah, I forgot to uh, charge my wrist. Zone 5. Sensor. Time 15 minutes. Workout average pace 10 minutes 57 seconds per kilometer. There you go. That's all the information we need. I'm going to switch off the heart Zone rate. Zone 4. I'm pretty sure it's going to get annoying when she starts giving me inaccurate Zone three. data as the sensor gains and loses its dwindling strength. Zone two. Give it a little longer just to see if it settles in, but there is a light blinking on the wrist strap, a red light, which normally, I don't know, it's blue again. I think it's still telling me that the battery is low. I think that's what the warning light is all about not to rely on the data. Sorry. Hello. I think if you can see it blinking blue the whole time you're out, then it's giving you accurate data. Otherwise, it's not much point listening to it. If it's inaccurate, it's only going to annoy you. Mind you, my heart does tend to spike a little at the beginning of a workout. It's more excitement than anything else. It's not effort-induced spiking. It's excitement. Hello. Hello. It's a happy-looking jogger coming downhill. Zone three. Three, I can just about believe. But I shouldn't hear zone five. Not on a hike. So this is the Douglas Creek Trail. I might take a bit of video in a minute just to uh, celebrate the beauty to Zone share two. it with you is good. Zone two, I can believe. It does keep me focused on pacing a little more forcefully. Morning. Zone three. Shuffling along the trail. There are an enormous amount of Asian people Zone living two. here. You see, it's uh, 
not confusing, but uh, there are so many races that have that look about them, from the Filipino through the Korean, Mongolian, Chinese, and Japanese. They all have that Asiatic look. And they do come from all those different places. This is incredibly diverse. The migration to BC is incredibly diverse. Zone three. Oh. Excuse me. Well, as they say, when in doubt, leave it out. That's what I'm doing with some of my Mickey Mouse data from the, uh, the days that I forget to charge up my device, or the days that I uh, don't get a good, two. a good sense reading on my wrist. It's done with a light, believe it or not. It's got a very, very bright green LED light that shines Zone three. through skin and is picked up by a photoreceptor and they detect the difference in intensity of light going through and that is supposed to represent time 20 minutes workout average pace 11 minutes one second per kilometer supposed to represent the blood flow changing subtly the color zone two of the skin. Well, that's probably why it's not that 100% accurate. Zone three. Con it's more convenient than wearing a chest strap. That must be so uncomfortable. I, I used to have a chest strap. I wore zone two. the heart rate two years or more back in the early days of my training this is very nice I'm going to make a short video here I'm already ahead of my pace I'm thinking 12 minute pace today would be quite energetic so this is Douglas Creek Let me get a good reflection off the water there. And the downstream section. Zone one. A fallen tree. And the bench. Zone zero. See how quickly my heart got back into the resting mode. I think that's a good sign. I seem to remember. Zone one. That was a good sign. If your heart gets back to normal quickly, it means it's responding well. You don't want to be out of breath for too long after a climb. Zone two. <coughs> it's going to get a little noisy, so I might choose to clear my throat in a minute again. As I cross ash. Zone three. Thank you. That car didn't have to stop for us. But there was another old guy on the other side crossing towards me, so he stopped for both of us. Zone two. Coming up to my last chance to drink or to pee. 
with ease, I should Zone say. Zone three. That there's a bathroom coming up that does have running water. But I have no need to do either. Zone two. But this is all pretty flat. In fact, I am hiking downhill. This is Zone three. the way Douglas Creek runs out to the ocean. Hello. Sometimes when I speed up, my heart rate speed up, speeds up too, because I'm moving my limbs a little quicker, which tends to stimulate the running response. It's the excitement, as I said, it's the adrenaline, of the excitement of being out and about, looking forward to an effortless session. There will be some effort involved, but there should be some quick recovery too. Morning. Hi. It feels funny for me to see these people running past me that I would normally be. You come up here as well. What was that? You come up here as well for a walk. Usually you walk on San Juan, in the front of my house. Yeah, no, I come here. Normally I run up here. Oh, you do? Yeah. yeah. And then I then I hike the steeper stuff. Oh, yeah. Good. But today, because I ran yesterday, today I'm just, just walking. Yeah. How is Danuta doing? Eh? How is Danuta doing? Do you Danuta, ever see her? Danuta um, Malloy. Yeah. She's fine. I, I haven't seen her. I She's saw her. Yet. Eh? She's married yet. I used to work with her husband. Yeah. I know, I know. That's where I met you. Okay. And you're saying, is she married yet? <laughs> Was she planning to marry I again? Don't, I don't know. <laughs> you guys, I don't know what you're up to, you know? No, no, no. Anyway, nice to see you. Are you Polish? No, heavens no. Where are you from? I'm Greek. Greek, okay. Yeah. Oh, the hairdressers. That's right. Who civilized the world? The Greeks. That's right. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, anyways, have a great day. I got to run. I have some things to do. I'm bye, leaving for Greece tomorrow. Lovely. Time 40 minutes. Workout average pace 11 minutes 22 seconds per kilometer. Yeah, the hairdressing couple from Greece. She's seen me running past her house a lot. She lives just right next to the soccer fields. <coughs> Excuse me. Coming up on the fake bridges. I think I'm still sub 12 minute pace. This will get severely eroded when I start the steeper sections of the hike. I'm going to come down the quick way via Glen Denning right from the top. It's like the elevator down. Excuse me. This is the first of the fake bridges. They still haven't fixed the planking. Morning. Hello. Do some video now.
Up, up, up. Pretty soon I'll be on Upper Whitaker, heading towards the summit. Just to give you an idea of how steep it is. I can almost touch the ground without bending over. But the secret is to keep steady effort. That's why it would have been nice to have my heart rate data. So this is where a whole set of trails meet. And this is normally a stream bed in the wet season. Still more climbing. Pretty soon I double back and then go straight up to the top. Time 45 minutes. Workout average pace 11 minutes 33 seconds per kilometer. All you can hear is the birds and the insects and some guys breathing. So I'm guessing I'm 15 minutes from the summit at this point. I'm going to have lots and lots of surplus, surplus material today that I will ruthlessly edit. What I tend to do is I do a pretty meticulous edit job at the beginning and then I look at the end and think what can I need, what do I need to trim off the end of the recording. And then I look at the total length of the file and split it in to two or three sections and then whittle back on each of those cuts until it fits the 36 minute slot. I've switched the fanny pack to my back now because it is jingling. I should adjust the straps the zips, I should say, so that the toggles are on the side rather than on the, on the bottom. That's it. You have a precious cargo there. That's right. Are you going down the trails? I'm going to go down this way this time. This 
this one is pretty gnarly. Yeah, I, I do this. I usually go down the road and then do this one once and then down the road a couple times. Yeah. Today's a hike day for me. Normally I run until it gets scary, then I, <laughs> then I step gingerly. Anyway, I think I might be a little bit faster than you today. Just a little. Uh, good luck. Fun. Lots of fun. Uh, is that your son or your daughter? Is that your son or your daughter on your... My daughter. Okay. <laughs> Safest way to fall is on your ass. Not forward. No. <laughs> Yeah, just watch out for the sharp, pointy rocks. I don't mind this section. It's the, the sand at the bottom. That's oh, yeah. The hardest for me. I've fallen once or twice here, and I know it hurts. Hello. Good dog. Up there. We all pass on the hill here. A young girl with her frisky, furry dog. Time one hour, five minutes. Workout average pace, 13 minutes, 28 seconds per kilometer. All right, now is when I start to pick up a little bit of easy pace. This is the section that he doesn't like. It's the sand gully. He'll end up with sand in his shoes, no doubt. And a low branch. I hope he ducks for this one. Yeah, but her head is about the same height above his shoulders as his is. The only danger would be if he leant forward at the wrong moment. He has to duck early so that she is below the bar as well. But that's what I like about this podcast. It's really about nothing. Other than observ observations. Hello, dog. Hi. Another kid in a backpack. This time going up, up, up. Those two daddies are going to cross in a second. Oh, it's just so tempting just to break into a jog, but that would really not be the plan for two reasons. One, I'm recording in my shirt, which would make anything I recorded totally unusable. And two, 
It's supposed to be an easy day today, not a quick day. I might as well make it, make it last as long as it needs to. Hi. Getting down to the main junction here in the trails. Yep, this is the glory zone from here all the way down to Harvest Lane. This is where I am sacrificing some speed for my training program. Good dogs. Good dogs. They look like happy dogs. Yes, happy dogs. Yeah, <laughs> happy dogs don't bite. That's true. Is that one of your dogs? Yeah. Okay. This is fantastic. I have to video this too. This is what the glory zone is all about. Coming up on my turn off to the left in a minute. I'll just let you see the the huge trees as the man behind me received a phone call. All you hear is the light aircraft and the birds. Time one hour, 10 minutes. Workout average pace, 13 minutes, 15 seconds per kilometer. I should be able to get back to 12 by the time I get onto the sidewalks and quiet streets of my neighborhood. These are the goalposts just coming up here. This is where I take my left exit. This main trail is called Glendenning, and this one is the Harvest Lane connector. It's all in full leaf now, all the maples, not a single brown leaf to be seen, not from this year anyway. All right, I'm back to my hike as I head out of the park. My dog walking friends went down Glendenning. They probably have vehicles parked at the trailhead to load up their poochies. They're pretty big dogs actually, they're about 100 pounders. Smaller than me, but not much. This has been an invigorating hike. It has done a lot more good to my body than 
what I had originally planned to do, which was to e-bike to see Derek and to uh, run. Good morning. Hi. Everybody's lawn is beginning to turn yellow. Hasn't taken long this year. We've had two weeks of drought, basically. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. That's why a lot of people did their yard work yesterday and today. Gotta keep striding. My heart is probably quite happy with today's effort. I would guess around 120 for the average. Because when it's flat like this, I can work quite hard and pick up some speed, as they say. So I think Sunday's race report was just about right. Six, uh, I think it was 20, 34 minutes maybe. A little shorter than usual. That's okay. You have your options as well. Sometimes a shorter show is good because you might only have less than an hour commute or to wait to catch your train or whatever. Today is recycle day. We got rid of a lot of paper and plastic. Very little metal and glass. So little glass that we only put out glass once every couple of months. Yep, I was navigating like a runner there. I should have gone to the sidewalk with the pedestrian crossing rather than diagonalize and confuse the drivers. Yep, so I might see Derek yet. He might show up at my doorstep. So this is my street, and there are a couple of crows picking over the recycling for food scraps. Uh, one of them scared, the other one doesn't care about me. Oop, I just got buzzed by a bee. Yeah, I think we've all cut our lawns. This one person here hasn't cut her lawn yet. And she's out to work all the time, so probably doesn't have the time. Time 1 hour 30 minutes. Workout average pace 12 minutes 32 seconds per kilometer. That's close enough to the end now. I'll just go in through the mud room and switch off my recorder in there. I'll get some stats for you. Excuse me. So we start 
start and end in the mud room. Let's see what's going on. Interval statistics. Time 1 hour 30 minutes 43 seconds. Workout average pace 12 minutes 32 seconds per kilometer. Yeah. Uh, stop and save. Workout paused. Workout stopped. Save and export. Yep, that's gone. Okay, well, until Sunday, this is the running jackal saying bye-bye from the midweek show.